Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Steampunk Minecraft. Things have changed! Not for the better! Hello there. It's been quite some time since I've played Steampunk and things have gotten much worse since I've left. The world, darker. The difficulty, harder. The mobs, plentiful. Seems the world's a bit angry at me for ignoring it for so long. In between this episode and the last, I built a new base directly beneath the warehouse I was squatting in. And moved my entire storage system inside. No more vaults. We learned the hard way that those are not reliable. I'm also doing a voiceover for almost all of this video because I was very smart and accidentally turned off my microphone for like eight hours of footage. So some parts have voice lines, some don't. But first things first, we needed new gear. In between episodes, I died in a plane crash, losing basically every item in my hotbar. We're back to diamond tools, and that means it's time for an upgrade. Desh armor is stronger than netherite, but we don't have any desh, because our old storage system ate it, meaning it's time to return to the moon. But another problem, our rocket is also missing. Again! Turns out if you shoot it, it just drops as an item, and if you don't notice, well... Oh yeah, this is my little interior now. I have a little house. I do house things. It's been a long time, okay? I don't remember what I have and haven't recorded. Let me show you around. So, um... I might as well. So this is my little house here. It is located underneath the original factory building. And this is now my little housey home. I have this little... workshop area here. I have three tiers of storage that just lower down like that. I have all my little crafting stations here. I don't have big create machines anymore, but up here I have a little bedroom. I have my beds. I got nice paintings. Got a birdcage. Got a blaze that I kept prisoner. Got my frog. And uh, random armor that I found. I lost my tools twice. Like, um, I lost all my tools in a plane crash. I added another floor to this elevator just to get down here. Then up here, uh-oh. I can't access the elevator while I'm in third person. Up here is going to be our hangar area, and I'm going to have the rocketry stuff in here. This is going to be its new home. I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do with the China building, but uh, mm -hmm. So the planes and the blimps are going to launch out of this side, and then everything else is just going to... I got to move it to a different facility. Uh, I forgot. I lost my line of thought. These zombies here, they're not part of the mod pack, but they added all these turret stuff. Like, one mod adds like a ton of turrets, and it gave us nothing to do with it. So I'm like, you might as well give us something to do with them. So I gave us zombies! Hooray! This is surely not going to be a problem for me ever at all. Okay, we have a new rocket. Hooray! I'm going to need to light this place up though. Um, immersive engineering, it has a spotlight, which I think would be a very good thing to have. It's like a, I've tested them in creative. It's like this big cone of light. They're very cool. But, uh... Other than that... I think it's time to start preparing for the rocket. Well, we're not going to be running out of green dye anytime soon. Oh! Zombies are here! Hopefully they can't get in. They probably will. I see him move. I don't like how much they're jiggling around in that uh, mini map. Oh, hi. Where 
are these guys? Where are you coming from? Everything's so dark. I need to militarize these ways. I can't see a thing. And I don't like how... I do not like what they're doing on the mini-map. Oh, they don't understand doors! That's precious! Uh-oh! They understand doors! Uh-oh. Did I just get it again? Oh my gosh. There's a 75% chance every time you get hit. And... Will you get out of here? This is gonna get out of hand very fast. Um... I don't know if you're part of the horde or just because I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Huh! They're on the roof! Ow! I just realized it's raining, so they're not burning. Whoa! Now we've been to the moon before, so I'm not gonna bore you with all the details. I'll just summarize it real quick. We flew over there. We forgot to bring the landing pad, so we had to use our spell book to teleport back home. I didn't bring a second launch pad. We set up our tunnel bore, dug till we had enough dash, harassed some aliens, and went home. back home! Got one and all, we got almost three stacks, so that should be good. Let's um, hold on. Three eight six three. Um, six. Okay, yeah, that's better in every way. So yeah, let's make armor out of that. Very cool. Thank you, Moon. I love you. I better look cool. That does not look very cool, I'm not gonna lie. Not compared to the other armors. Does 11 damage on Enchanted, so yes, we will be having that. Thank you. Give me a special stick. Nope, just takes any stick. Okay. Okay! We've got armor! And the armor doesn't suck. Very cool. I spent a little bit of the time enjoying my new armor and doing chores around the base, and then, well, we were ambushed by another mob horde. I forgot to hit record again. I came back from eating. Hello, hi! You're having a problem.
After dealing oh, with I a couple more zombies, I ended up making an alarming discovery. Am I pulling more than I'm using? Oh no, I'm pulling more than I'm using! My power plant was no longer holding up. I was drawing more power than I was making. A new power source was in order, and it was time to go nuclear. I started by making a platform to hold the new structure. To save space, and also because I thought it'd be pretty funny, I was building this nuclear reactor directly on top of my old power plant building. I made steel beams to hold up the platform, and made it look just sturdy enough to hold it, but not enough to look safe. Then I started to build up the walls. I was going for a more sci-fi looking reactor, but the main structure comprises of a giant smokestack for steam to escape out the top. After all, nuclear reactors in real life are just very complex steam engines. All they do is boil water to turn a wheel. After a while, I had the basic shape of the structure that I wanted, and it was time to work on the reactor itself. The power generation is handled by a normal Create steam engine, so first I built that. However, instead of blaze burners, we use these boiler heaters which are tied into the back of our reactor. All the reactor does is make heat, and the steam engine handles the power by spinning alternators plugged directly into the back of a giant battery. I use these alternators because they're more energy efficient than the coil generators from New Age that we have powering our current generator down below us. Okay, but what about fuel? No energy is free, so what does this reactor run on? Thorium. But we don't have any thorium because I kept throwing it away because without a reactor to use it, it's useless. So I had to go mine for some more in the dark, 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 scary, dark caves. I am going to have nightmares tonight. But once we escape with our thorium and our lives, we can turn it into nuclear fuel. First, it needs to be crushed. Then we can press it twice and give it an iron sheet. And it becomes nice, tasty fuel for our reactor. Thorium is a renewable resource, but I won't be making a farm for it in this episode. Maybe in the future. That is all we have for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a while. I'm getting back into the swing of things here, and I also have some videos in the works for the Workshop channel as well. So I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye!